Hey everyone, I'm Igor Solarski, also known as The Bishop Game, and I play in a band called Threes and Sevens, which you can check out here. And I'm going to show off my little Guitar Duino project here, which, now that I say it out loud, sounds kind of stupid, so maybe I should have picked a better name. Anyway, uh, people seem to really like the video that I made playing this thing, and uh, a lot of people want to know how it worked, so here we are. Uh, so I've got my guitar here. It's going into my Axe Effects, where I have a synth guitar tone set up, and that is the signal from here mixed with the uh, pitch tracking oscillators, the synth uh, synthesizer on the Axe Effects 2. And uh, that all, you know, those are set up to sound kind of cool, and then it all gets uh, distorted. Uh, it sounds kind of like this. So that's cool. Uh, but the stuff we're really interested in is uh, all here. So I've got the Arduino. It's got the Proto Shield on it because I didn't want to solder directly into the board. And I got the six arcade buttons, uh, three force sensitive resistors on the front, and then another force sensitive resistor, a big long strip here on the back, um, which all just works as one big button, but it's uh, I can trigger it from anywhere on the back of the neck, so that's cool. And what the Arduino does is it just takes readings from these guys and then spits them out the USB serial port here and uh, into Max, which I have set up over here, uh, and then I just realized you probably can't see it because it's all white and that's the way cameras work. Anyway, so that uh, Max then transforms the uh, readings that send out here, um, and they're ASCII, and it's you know 0 to 1023 for the analog, and, and 0 and 1 for the digital buttons. Um, and then it trans transforms them into MIDI, and there's some, uh, there's some fun, weird transformations that I have, which I'll show off in a second. And then that MIDI goes either into Ableton Live, where I had, you know, the drums going and, and the, the looping, and then, or into the Axe Effects, and uh, triggers all the effects and, and, and fun glitchy things. So, the actual way that the pads are set up right now, and most of these, almost, uh, these are almost entirely just in the, in the Axe Effects, and I'll say what, what I'm doing in Max. So this guy here is a filter that's attached, that's modulated by a step sequencer, sounds like this. And then I've got here, I have a pitch shifter, uh, just a whammy going up two octaves. And then here is a, uh, a sort of synth style vibrato, like uh, like if you turn the mod wheel up on on an old synth. So then uh, the strip on the back of the neck, this is my favorite part, is that this gives you sort of like an alt key, so you can switch what a pad does, uh, and you can get two functions out of the same thing. So this pitch shifter, which normally you can kind of hear how it uh, tilts up, like if you were doing it with your foot, and if I do it with this push down, it just becomes instantaneous, so that can be useful. And then this guy, instead of doing the vibrato, will do a pitch down from two octaves a kind of a slow slide. So that's cool. The other thing this will do is it will hold an effect uh, because otherwise all these are momentary switches. As soon as I pull my finger off, they stop working. And this lets me pull off, you know, you know it, keeps, it keeps going. And then I can actually combine effects and Pac-Man death noise or so that's that's all fun. Then here on the buttons, oh yeah, last effect I have is the blue button here triggers a stutter. So these guys, I uh, have a kick drum here on the white button, a snare drum on the black, uh, same snare but with more high end on the green guy. And then these two just control Ableton. This one will start recording in a clip, and if I hit it again, it'll just loop that back, and this will just stop the session at the end. Uh, so just, you know, to quickly demonstrate all of that. There you have it. Um, that's basically how everything works. All the um, 
the programming is you know very basic functional stuff that just collects the data and spits it out, and this is just turning it into MIDI, and um, you know that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to contact me. I'd be happy to talk about it. And uh, yeah.